Hello everyone, this is Imran Pardesi sir and today I will be continuing standard 8th maths chapter number 14 compound interest. In compound interest my dear students, yesterday we have seen practice set 14.1 question number 2, 3 and question number 1 of practice set 14.2. Okay, so today we will see 14.2 question number 2. Please pay attention. See here, practice set 14.2 question number 2 is a shepherd has 200 sheep with him okay find the number of sheep with him after three years three years duration if the increase in number of sheep is eight percent every year okay so eight percent it means it is red right see here now what, what things are given in this question here p principal means initially the shepherd has 200 sheep okay number of sheep initially is equals to 200 that is 200 is your principal. Rate of increase in sheep is equals to 8% every year. Whenever the number comes with percentage, whenever the number will come with percentage, that is your rate, okay? Percent per annum, okay? So here the rate will be 8%. Now, after 3 years means duration, time, period is given. That is 3 years. Now, what we have to find? We have to find... If the increase in number of sheep is 8 every person year, so what we have to find? Find the number of sheep with him after 3 years. We have to find the number of sheep after 3 years. It, is it, it means we have to find A. Okay, so after 3 years, so it is, we, have, we know that the formula that is uh, amount by compound interest is equal to principal multiplied by 1 plus R upon 100 raised to N. Okay, bracket raised to N. Now, we will put the value, principal 200, 1 as it is, R8 upon 100 bracket raised to 3, N value after 3 years, that is 3, okay. Now, we will solve the bracket first, 100 ones are 100, N plus 8, you will add, 100 ones are 100 plus 8, that is 108 upon 100, 3 times. We will write 3 times, we will cut the 0, 0, whatever will remain, we will write as it is, C2 remain from here. 108 remain from here. Now this we can write 1.08, 1.08, right? Because 100 has two zeros. So after two digits there will be a decimal point, right? So this we will multiply. 2 multiplied by 108, 216. The answer of these two. We will multiply these two as well. So answer of these two will be 1.1664. Okay? We will multiply this. And we will give this two digit, this two digit. After four digit, there will be decimal point. Okay, now we will multiply these two. The answer will come this. Okay, 251.9424. So, Schaefer, how many sheep a Schaefer has? 251.9.4. Aisa to nahi ho sakta hai. Sheep ke do tin tukde nahi ho sakte hai. So, what we will consider approximate. Okay, takriban. 252. See, we will make it approximate. Yani 251, 251.9424. Ye 252 consider kar sakte. Approximate means takriban 252 sheep a shepherd must be having after 3 years. See, therefore the shepherd will have approximately 252 sheep sheep after 3 years. Is it clear? This this value we will we will make it complete. Approximate. This symbol is known as approximate. 252, Takriban 252 sheep a shepherd will have after 3 years. I hope you understood here how to solve this. So dear students, now after question number 2, we will see question number 3. All formulas are same, method is same, you have to solve only. You have, you know how to solve the multiplication, how to do the division. Please pay attention, question number 3. In a forest, there are 40,000 trees. Find the expected number of trees after 3 years if the objective is to increase the number at the rate of 5% per year. Same. Okay, it is very easy. Here, first, initially in the forest there were 40,000 trees. See, P means principal. Number of trees initially, yani pahle 40,000 trees were there. 40,000 initially, pahle. Rate, rate is given that is the number of at the rate of 5% per year. Rate of increase in trees. Har saal badne wale trees is equal to 5%. See 5% is rate. Now number of years it is 3 years. Okay. Period is given. And A we have to find that is find the expected number of trees after 3 years. It means after 3 years 
how much trees will be there in that forest okay so we will write the formula we know the formula amount by compound interest is equals to principal multiplied by 1 plus r upon 100 bracket raised to n now we will keep the values from the given principal 40,000 1 as it is rate is 5% that is 5 upon 100 bracket raised to 3 now you will solve first bracket right 100 ones are 100 plus 5 you will add that 5 in that 100 100 ones are 100 plus 5 105 upon 100 bracket raised to 3 clear now we will write this one, 105 upon 100 3 times now we will cut the 0 0 see 0 0 2 0 2 0 will get cancelled again 2 0 2 0 will get cancelled what will remain from here 4 what will remain from here 105 what will remain from here 105 multiply by this we can write in decimal form from this from unit side after two digit there will be a decimal point because there is a hundred below denominator is hundred so we will give decimal point after two digit yes so now two two you will multiply these two you will multiply the answer will come 420 these two you will multiply answer will come this after two digit there should be decimal point because here after two digit there is a decimal point so the whatever the answer will come after two digit you will give decimal point now you will multiply these two the answer will come this 46,305 so approximate trees okay so how many trees will be there in that forest after three years so therefore there would be 46,305 trees after three years I hope you understood here how to solve every calculation is very much easy these two you will multiply answer will come this these two 105 multiply by this can be written as 1.05 because there is a hundred hundred has two digits zero two zero so you will give here after two digit number there will be a decimal point answer will come this these two you will multiply answer will come this i hope you understood